quick check. Hello, morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Going back into our Stardew Valley save, which we started two, year <laughs> two years, two weeks ago. Um, I think last week we ended off on the last day of spring, so we're going into the first day of summer. So when this is the time when most of your actual like diehard farming will start. So. I don't think there's any way to beat the game in one year because you need to get red cabbage and I believe red cabbage is only um, available year two. I fucking hate hops. I, I do not like any of the plants that are on the trellises. Oh my god, my <laughs> I hate to say I hate to say Absolute shit. I don't have a lot of money. Because I really want to put my farm or my crops down here. But I don't have enough money to upgrade anything. And so let's just take down what we can before the shop opens. the iron or the gold axe, I believe, for the large stumps. Like, what's really helpful is to do the weekly missions, because they usually average a few thousand gold. We can start going to town now. And then you gain friendship faster with those individuals that you do the missions with. Yeah, we have like no money. Probably your best bet is either go mining. I usually will check out the forest first, that way I can get as much wood as I can at the start of the season. Puffer fish, no shot I can get that. I think puffer fish is um C in the early morning. Like I've never I've only caught one like twice. Their their the spawn rate is not very high. Like with the specialty fish, I think it's just better to buy them from the merchant in the forest.
We can hold off. Okay, we don't really need hops. We only need it for beer. So let's just buy three. I'm gonna think. I know we need poppies for the um, community center, but we don't need spangles at all. But we don't have anything or any materials for hives yet, so I don't want to spend too much money on it. <laughs> it's so sad. Watch me money go away. Break. Man. You poor bitch. Okay, just mountains left, so. We honestly don't really need seeds for now, because we're not we're not focusing on toppers yet. That's mean like a year or two thing. <laughs> Can't really buy anything else. I think we should focus on already nine o'clock. Probably best bet is to do fours first, and then mining so we can get our sprinkler set up, and then focus on getting money because watering your plants every day wastes so much energy. We have the recipe to make iron yet? Not yet. We have a lot of coal, though. Okay. I'm gonna see if we have any sap. Okay, good. I'm still debating whether or not I want to just hoard all my crops or sell a few. Because either way, all your jelly crops or pickled crops are worth a lot more than just the base crop. I gotta pause real quick. I forgot to close my door. <laughs> that one's home. Like this game is usually so chill, but I'm listening to like pop punky album right now. Or just like because I need to have like a little bit of edge, you know. do double plant, it won't overlap. I don't know how many sprinklers we're going to be able to get set up this season. So we're gonna put the the crops that respawn, not respawn, but like bear more fruit on planting with the sprinklers. That way, I don't have to worry about watering them as much. have to map out where the other sprinkler sections will be. Because it's always so annoying when you plant stuff and it doesn't line up with the sprinklers that you're gonna place. Or like it irks me a lot. Yeah. 
Okay, so we need 10 more spaces. Oh, I should have done the hops. I hate watering the hops. Too late, too late. Probably gonna hear my computer humming, I'm sorry. I usually don't plant any fall crops during springtime, because to me it's kind of pointless. So it's it's usually down one over two, so one two. Let's go ahead and plant the hops here. Oh, I forgot to put fertilizer down. Right. Let's go ahead and plant everything else over here. So it's... Down one of them. Not there, not there. We don't have, we have like no crops. It's 340, not too bad. At least we have one of everything for now. That's that's what's important, your one. I can't wait till the salmon berry spawn. Give a fair amount of energy and hella salmon berry spawn. Probably check the quarry at the bottom of our property. Uh, I really need to get this area cleaned out. I really like how expansive this property is, though, because a lot of debris spawn. Let's go see if there's anything spawn in the quarry. It's gonna be a while till we can afford upgraded tools. Because the only real way to make money is with the artisan goods. That's how you can make bank every day. Oh, it's not over here. Where is it even? Oh, I do have to go that way. <laughs> because it's fine if you leave debris in your property as long as it's not near any buildings or like pictures. Because you know how more material is spread over time. If it's too close, then it'll cause your pictures that you place to break. 
for night. So as long as you don't have any debris by any buildings or anything, you're fine. Because you only really, really need to clear them out if you're trying to build something or if you need resources. Yeah, my voice is a little bit raspy today. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because, like, I w I'm not going for bike rides in the morning anymore because, like, it's way too cold. Because the other day, like, my bike was basically frozen over. So, like, I decided to go in, like, the afternoon or, like, the evening. I went yesterday. And it was really cold still. Like, I love fall time, but, like, it's really cold this year. Like, I'm debating whether or not I want to get a pair of earmuffs. There's nothing much we could really do the rest of the day. We could, like, oh, there's a pond over here. So, yeah, there's not much we can do because I'd rather save my food till next time or until when we go mining. So, tom tomorrow we can either mine or check out the forest. Because we're fairly good on wood for now. So you don't necessarily need to go in the forest yet. I definitely need to reorganize these. can craft iron now that's good i don't i don't know because like coal is so hard to get in later game like you can get the furnace and use wood but wood is also a rare resource later in the game like i usually will avoid crafting the iron unless i absolutely need it because i think in this save we're almost at level 40 of the mine so like then we'll have access to iron all the time I think I'll hold off on crafting iron for now. Yeah, it's so, like we couldn't buy red cabbage, so I don't think there's any way to beat the greenhouse in one year. I, I guess you can purchase the cabbage, but that's just random chance. So I don't know what the odds are for you to get it in the. Um, forest merchant. I could look it up, but you know, I think that's cheating. <laughs> the only time I've looked stuff up on, like, the wiki is for, like, the story stuff. The end game story stuff. For, like, the secret jungle, and then the. what you call it? I forgot we don't have the mining cards. Oh my god, I'm so used to my main save. But yeah, like I only look up the wiki to look up like story stuff. Because I'm not gonna start giving people gifts until Ooh, we got grapes. Until um, we have enough money to like give stuff away. Before we gotta be hoarding everything. Oh my god, I didn't bring my sword. Oh, I always forget. Oh my god, we wasted an hour. I, I like to complain that all the, the time is so off, but like legit, it takes me like an hour to walk a mile sometimes, so. I can't get too mad at it. I mean, also, like, I'm short as frick, so. Wasted an hour.
Okay, that's the right sword. Let's go ahead and leave a few tools here. Are we here? Whether or not to like invest in the coffee beans. So now you can use coffee and then you can walk faster. But then it's like, how much time does it actually save? I mean, I guess that's something I can consider for a later game when I have money spent on those plants. Otherwise, like, you don't really need them for anything. Oh, we hit level 40. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna switch these tools. I'm used to flicking right. Yeah, with gems, I usually won't sell them right away. I'll wait till I have like three in my inventory before I'll start selling. Because you'll need them for like side missions. I know there's one community mission where you have to give Emily like five different gems or something. I thought that was a bat coming for me, that's why I paused. <laughs> check like the fortune teller every day like i think it's kind of like not important until you start have to go until you start have until you need to start going to the desert mines because in these normal mines i don't mind if there's more rocks or anything i'm really clear not like getting the resources of like all the different level of swords you can buy unlock from the start. I said this last time but it's so annoying when you like buy a new sword and then one just drops. It's like why did I spend all this money on it? So now you get like swords from the chest sometimes but then sometimes enemies will drop them. It's like money wasted. Ten iron, so enough for two bars. <laughs> I'm such a button masher. I know you're supposed to like wait till like the the cutscene like phases out, but I never wait. I'm just I'm just spamming. Especially with the heavier weapons, the cutscenes are longer. You usually have less accuracy if you just spam. Nothing else is here.
I'm not too concerned if I don't reach 50 by the end of the day. I honestly just need resources at this point. I still think it's funny how like everything pauses. Like the world stops for you. Does anyone really use the slingshot? I think the slingshot is stupid. Like it's so much harder to aim with. It's just another item in your inventory. I think it's kind of pointless. Oh! <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't see it. game. That'd be cool. Because it's like, I don't want to get clapped, so... <laughs> it's like, when I play, like, off-stream, like, if no one's home, like, I'll sing to myself, because I think it's comforting. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to reach 50. Oh! It's switching time! So many. I'm gonna see if there's any more resources and get out of here.
I know you can like go till two o'clock. But like I just don't risk it at this point. You got twenty one. A pretty good amount of iron. You have enough for former sprinklers then. Sprinklers. I think I have a chest for just gems yet. Yeah, not yet. God, I really need to fix this. I can't wait till I get the stone chest. They look so much cooler. The wood ones. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put gems and geodes in here for now. And then artifacts. I should put fish on the end. I just put my fish by the um, drop off basket. So tomorrow... Oh, there it is. Okay. Ready for tomorrow. A rumbling. <laughs> this was a mission I had to look up for the shorts one, and I cannot find it. So I think I'll just focus on fishing for the next couple days. I'll probably forest today. And the rest of the day fishing. That way I can focus on buying more seeds. I have just enough iron for the plots I have spaced out. I didn't grab my hoe. We don't need it, we don't need it.
I think my favorite map to play in was the forest one. Because I really like how it had foraging and um, hardwood on site. It was really helpful. Because once you unlock max foraging, you can get the perk to where all your forage items will be like purple stars. That's like the best way to make money, especially during winter. Because you can plant the winter seeds. And then it'll um, it'll bear the forageable winter crops. You can just sell those and make bank during winter. I also don't buy any of the hats. Like, I personally really like the look of the hairstyles in the game. Like, I'll never buy the hats. Like, the only one that was kind of cute, I think the bow and the flower, but like, you can't really see them. They're more subtle. Like, my main, like, course of action, like, I'll usually mine, and then only fish on rainy days. Because on rainy days, it'll spawn the rainy fish and the normal fish. But now, like, I just, I just need, I need money. <laughs> so I'm like, I should probably be fishing instead of this. Oh my god, I didn't bring my freaking, I didn't bring the fishing poles. I can't fish anyway. <sighs> I don't know. I guess since my inventory is big enough, I can probably hold on to everything anyway now. It's just I'm so used to dropping my tools off. Quite a bit of energy. Okay, yeah, so I think tomorrow we'll focus on fishing all day. Good, no one died. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> bad news through an email. Ah. Okay, I really need to upgrade my tools.
I wonder if there's any weekly mission. I forgot to check on Monday. <laughs> Oh, I don't have it yet. Okay. Never mind. You know, daily mission either. I think it's my crops in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I usually will sort my silvers and golds, and then I'll gift my no star plants. I think I'm gonna put my fish on the opposite side of the cart for the crate. Or ed edible items <laughs> in here. <laughs> uh, I have to remember I have to keep one of, one of each of these. I have like nothing. I have nothing to save. I want to just go to sleep after this because there's not much I can really do. I definitely want to save my food for fishing and mining tomorrow. I'll actually just eat my crops. It's gonna be well before I can pickle anything. Five, seventy-five. I know cauliflowers are nice to sell, but we don't really need them now. Ah, I could probably do like a, a little bit of fishing. Let's see that. any good spot to fish on your farm because it's all kind of crap. Usually just get trash. Ah, oh, come on. I got you baited. time to go down to the forest and fish. Ah, let's just stay here. Let's just stay here. <laughs> Need trash for later on. Got one fish. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Let's go. Little pipe. So I think the rest of the night, I'm gonna try and reorganize my containers. I'm gonna put things I don't touch in the far right. I'll put things I don't touch in trash in here. And then I'll put gems in this one. Gems and artifacts. And then here I'll put edible items and forage along with my iron ores. Oh yeah, this one is just going to be gems, that was it. Gems and geodes. And then this one is going to be just materials. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our two crates over here for the fish. Wrong way. Oh no. Dead. No. No. Edible items, and then iron. I want fish, fish and shells over here. Like I'll usually try and keep at least two of every fish of the lowest grading. That way, when I get pawns, I am able to place them in there. That way, once I know I have at least two of every fish, I can sell the rest. Probably me like 300 bucks today. Which is fine. But you know, better than 32 bucks.
The rest are forage, edible items, and minerals. The trash, trash. You can't compost. You can't compost the soda, which I think is stupid. Crystals. Girl craftables. Like, I'm a hoarder, like, I'll keep everything, I don't care. Because I know I'll need it for a later game. Yeah, so... Okay, I think everything is organized now. We can make this last iron. <laughs> Regretfully trudge through the dirt. Have two more sprinklers. Are they ready for tomorrow? Okay, those are ready now. Let's put the fish in the bin. We're in our crate. Fall tonight. You don't have duplicates of anything, so you can't sell. Okay, time for bed. We're so close. Ah, there we go. With the range of books. Okay, so today's probably a good day for fishing. Oh, we don't got water. Yes. Do we have everything that we need? Yeah, I think we're good. We can maybe go shopping for more seeds. Because when I plant them today, they'll be watered. So let's go for river, river fishing first until the shop opens. And then go to the dock. We can probably do that tomorrow in the mines.
on, give me a freaking fish! It says I don't have the bait. Do I have the nice pool? Oh, I am using bait. Yeah, what's up? Hates me today. Could also because I don't have my fishing skill up yet. Oh my god, so much freaking trash! You got we, get, we didn't get the Linus mission yet. Whenever I try and do the Linus mission, I like get no trash. That was disappointing. Where we get melons? A wood reddish. Let's go to the water. Do I have any missions? Please forget to check. Uh, nothing that I can really do now. Let's go. I used to hate the fishing mechanic when I first started. But that's only because it took me so long to learn how to do it right. Red snapper. Eels that spawn in the rain at nighttime during summer. I think. I presume. <laughs> I didn't mean to go that way. Oh no. Yeah, that's that. Uh... I've only gotten one, like, one throughout my whole time playing this game. 200 hours plus. Only caught in one legendary. And it was by sheer luck where, like, it slowed down. Like, I timed it. It was like a two minute struggle. Spots left. I don't 
don't want to sell because I need to see what we have at home first. Like, I'm fine filling up my inventory and then just clearing up the farm the rest of the day. I, I dropped it. I dropped it. Mm -hmm. Ah, come on. Okay, I shouldn't react mm -hmm. every time I don't get it perfect. <laughs> because I get it maybe one in every... One in every five times. We don't want to be too annoying. We got one spot left. the worst throw. Okay, inventory's full. It's two o'clock. We have time for a little bit of clearing out the farm. I need my hope. We got some purple starfish today. Nice. We don't have any tuna. Oh, I gotta go tilapia. Snappers. Oh, okay. I like to keep at least two of every fish inventory for the lowest grade. Because you only need one fish to put in a pond, and then it'll start multiplying.
Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Sorry, it bugged out for a second. Yeah, everything seems to be fine now. I don't know why that happened. I think. <laughs> maybe maybe because the train is going by? We don't know, we don't know. I think because like Stardew kind of like fucks with my capture card sometimes. Because usually, because I use Switch Studio, so you can. Um, Switch Studio, like, it usually it has the capture software integrated into the broadcasting program. But for Stardew Valley, it makes it bug out, so I have to use a different capture program. So maybe that's why it, <laughs> it cut out for a second. <laughs> Cause like my laptop is pretty good, but like I wasn't gonna spend an extra two grand for like an amazing one. You know what I mean? I don't have big bucks yet. <laughs> I don't have the big Twitch money yet. Like I'm probably like number one million. <laughs> I kind of wanted to like do that as a title one day during the whole like hullaboo but then it's like I think the meme was dead at that point I, I can probably put my pawns here the only issue with the pawns is that stuff like debris will spawn behind it I mean, that could easily be solved by solved by moving it around at the start of the season. I feel bad eating my cauliflower, but you know, it's fine. We're gonna get more crops this season, so it's I- it's I- part about this game is that it feels like you're accomplishing something every day that you play. Like, I really like story games because you can see like your progression. It's so nice. Okay, we're done for the night. <laughs> I don't want to do more. And just a little bit more. I really like how the sword and the scythe don't cost me. Very helpful. Geodes in here, and then coal in the other one. Oh my god, it's in the way! <laughs> well, done for the night. Okay, also, gentle reminder we're a little bit past an hour into today's stream. Gentle reminder get some water, get a snack if you need it. Also, if you're new here, like what you see, drop a follow helps me out. If you're a returning viewer, I appreciate you a lot. I've gotta help the smallest streamers out. Gotta help number one million out. <laughs> okay, we got 1400 today. That's great.
I think we'll go buy more seeds and then mine. Oh, that one is dead. Sad. Should I buy more seeds or save for a better tool? Debating. Hey! Got it! Afternoon. Yep, good afternoon, Yana. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, man. I think the upgraded tool is 5,000. Maybe we should do another day of fishing? I would like a cute girl to bring me a pike. No shot, we're not going for you this game. To be honest, I don't ever go for the guys. <laughs> I am thinking, this is good, glad you're here. Going good, it's going good. I'm still kind of like lost on what to do for the save because I'm already on almost year two of my personal save. So the save I'm like so far behind in comparison. Like I was thinking, like if I had an alt account, like you know, like Tommy Unit has, <laughs> or like Carl has. Like, I would- I would just play, like, Stardew all day. But, like, I wouldn't do that on this main channel, because, like, it's not gonna help with my numbers, like, that. Mm -hmm. But, like, legit, I can play this all day, it's bad. But, like, I'm honestly not too concerned about being behind, because, like, year two, is like where you do main, a lot of the main grinding. Because year one is just building up your resources to get ready for year two. Let's buy a few more seeds. Watching my money go away. Oh yeah, I needed to fight slimes. Yeah, we're not doing that today. Changing what I want to like, what I think I want to do. Like, I think the best thing for now would be to fish for the first mm -hmm. half of the month. That way, I can get enough money for fall and then mine the second half. That way, I can get enough resources for fall. Yana, if you're still here, I fell asleep last night. <laughs> I don't remember what time you ended, but like, I woke up at like, I think 12, and you had hosted someone else, and I was like, frick. <laughs> like, my phone was at like, 20%. So bad, I was like, oh dang, I fell asleep again.
I knew you weren't so- I knew you weren't so next, but people to watch the whole way through. I- I like to lurk, cause like, I like hearing stuff in the background. Like, I either have like- I've honestly gotten tired of music, cause like, mainly cause like, I don't know what to listen to. Like, I have- I've listened to like, the same like, 10 albums for the past year. So like, I'll either put it on like, a YouTube video or a stream on in the background, cause like, I just like, noise. <laughs> Figured you were lurking earlier. Hit that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I would chat more, but it's like I don't know how to play Apex, so I'm like I don't know any of the terminology. Like the only time I really chat is when I'm trying, like trying to make like a stupid joke. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean you can probably tell if I didn't say bye, cause like I I will always try and say like bye if either like I'm leaving for a bit or if like I'm heading out. Cause like, I hate when people like just leave and not say anything. Like when you see like your viewer account go down, you're like, ah, oh, sad day, sad day. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I don't have to be chatting for sort of thank you, I appreciate it. I don't know, like, I know like having chatters is really encouraging. Especially to people who are just starting. I know for me, like, I'm really quiet. But like, it's really nice to have like someone to bounce off of, or it's easier for me to like keep talking. Like, I bet if people come in, like I will intentionally, like if I'm browsing like the explore tab, I will like sit and watch for five minutes and then chat, and then they like get talky. But that's how I am too, so I don't judge them too harshly for that. It's also like low key, like I'm trying to practice like I try and be chatty because like I wanna try and practice like my quote unquote improv skills. Like I feel like I'm a funnier chatter than a funnier streamer. I was talking to someone else in the DMs about this the other day. But it's like I really like playful banter, I think it's funny. <laughs> Cause like that's what improv is, you're like Feeding off whatever the other person's. It's like kind of like. Oh, what what is this? It's like this and you always want to try and add something to it. And like I don't mind lurking in people. It's gonna help your numbers. So. Mm -hmm. Cause I was, I was looking up reddit, like reddit threads on like what your actual viewer count is And like your viewer count is technically how many like people have your stream like open Forgot to turn my sound off, sorry, sorry, sweet my sin Um so, Like even if you have your own screen open in a new tab it still counts as a viewer Which like I don't like necessarily cause it, it feels like I'm cheating but like, I have to have it open in a new tab because like, there's been so many times when like, I first started where like, I didn't know it was effing or lagging. But, like, that's why I'm always like, glancing at my computer to see if it's like, lagging and I don't know where that changes. Mm -hmm. My voice is kind of raspy today, so I'm sorry mm -hmm. if it sounds kind of icky. Um, I think it's because like I went biking out in the cold yesterday. Like I went out at like right after stream, so like 1, 1 ish and it was still hella cold. Like I'm debating whether or not I want to go out later today. Cause like I had a nice coat, some nice thick exercise pants, and I was still like freezing. Like it seems like global warming. <laughs> He's making our summers hotter and our winters colder. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, anyway, what was I was gonna say earlier, it's like... <laughs> oh. I wish some of my, my IRL friends would like lurk and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bruh, all you need to do is have the tab, you know, help a friend out. It's I. 
I don't have many friends who are like Twitch frogs. I wish I did. I mean, I guess I'm kind of new to Twitch. So, it's understandable. Like, I didn't go on YouTube or use YouTube till I was like 13. I, like, I, I was definitely late to the game. As with everything. I think it's also because, like, I think making online content is kind of cringe to talk about in general. Because, like, there's still the stigma to, like, if you're, like, making online content, you're, like, trying to make an OnlyFans or something. Which I'm not gonna do. I'm just not gonna do that yet. Yet. <laughs> um. But, especially with the increase of, like, the internet and how media is just shared in general. Like, having just, like, a little online presence is so, like, important. I think it's also important to remember, like, if people have alt accounts, like, keep in mind what you post on your alt. Like, even if it's private, like, if you, like, piss me off one day, I can easily screenshot it and, like, expose you, you know? Or, like, if you have an account under your phone number, like, People can find your account under, like, their contacts, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, just be careful what you post. Like, don't push yourself doing drugs, don't push yourself doing bad stuff, you know? Yes, you do have freedom of speech, but then I also have the right to treat you differently on your takes. Like, I'm a <laughs> back to my old job. Um, when I- because I was management, right? And I didn't think it was appropriate to like follow my co-workers on social media because like I also didn't really text or like message any of them outside of work because I think that's that's like crossing a line in my opinion granted we're all like similar age so like late teens or early 20s but like I still don't think it was appropriate because like you need to have that I guess like distance like you don't want to get too close to like your your superiors and vice versa um but I remember, because, like, whenever you add a new contact to your phone on IG, like, that person will automatically be recommended. And I can't remember if the per individual, like, followed me. Or, like, if I just came up with the recommended, because they came up in mine. And, like, I was low-key talking shit <laughs> to other coworkers. That was basically, because, like, like, this individual was saying, like, oh, you know, I can't get a job. You know, I've been applying and applying. He's like, I haven't been couch surfing, and it's like, you look at his social media profile, and it's him, like, doing drugs and shit. And it's like, how about you don't? Like, maybe that's why. Because at the time, it was a public account. And then after, like, I was talking shit at work, it became a private account. <laughs> so it's like, people don't realize that, like, if you put your, like, actual full name, I can easily find it. If you have a picture of yourself, I can easily pick out which Bob Brown you are, you know? It's not that hard. Moral of the story? Like, don't post stuff you don't want your parents to see. Don't. For the longest time, I had my parents block on, like, Facebook and stuff. But then I was like, I don't care. Like, the only thing I'm really worried about is if I, like, accidentally, like, talk shit one day. Because there's, like, there's stuff I'll keep to myself. Sometimes, like, I'll slip up and say something, and I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe you should not have leaked that. But, like, yeah. Ah, I need my water again. Where'd I put it? There she is. Ah, I also need my hoe. Ah! Where is she? There she is again. Okay. I gotta put it back in the same spot. I need to get in that habit. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on. Nah. We pass out, we pass out. 
Ooh, don't. <laughs> Ooh, can we do one more? One more? Ah, we lived. We lived. I mean, now that I don't work with those coworkers, like I'll, I followed them back. But like at the time, I tried not to. Okay, we got just fish left. Okay, we got a pike in there. Don't have any rainbow trouts. We have two sunfish. Oh, we can sell the rest. We're gonna make bank today. I also finally started watching Squid Game last. I'm not gonna spoil anything because like it's really good. I think the best take I saw on it is that it's basically like a live action anime, which I think is like the best explanation of it. But it's really good because I woke up again at like one o'clock and I'd missed a text from my friend and I was like, frick. And whenever I miss like a late night text, like I get anxious because like it wasn't anything bad or concerning, but I was still like, oh man. It's like there's a reason why they're texting me at one. You know what I mean? Like I was up for a bit longer and I was like, you know. I was holding off on watching it for so long because like. I'm low-key like the hipster type where I'm like, I watched it before it was cool. Or like, like I'll watch it once it's not cool anymore. But like, I've been seeing a lot of art, like fan art and stuff, and it's amazing. It's, like, it's so cool. People just like renderings and stuff. But yeah, I watched it. <laughs> I watched four episodes last night. So like... This is why, like, I don't watch TV shows or anything anymore, because, like, I'll just keep going. Like, I have, I have no self-control. Like, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, so, like, I woke up. Like, I stopped watching at 5, and I could hear my sister getting ready for work. I'm like, oh, fuck. I was like, is it really 5 o'clock? <laughs> so, um, I stopped at five and then I tried to go back to sleep, but then I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm running on like two hours today. It's bad. Damn, five. Yeah. Like, I was up. Like, I woke up at seven. So, like, I was up for probably a combined total of like nine hours. Bad. Is it... So, please, if you're gonna recommend me something, recommend me a game or music. Because, like, I cannot be watching shows and shit. No self-control at all. <laughs> Can't give your brain the chance to think about whether or not you want to watch another episode. I know, right? Just get up and turn it off and lay down. But like, I don't have it on my TV. Cause like, the way my room is set up, I have my TV on my dresser. I really wanted to get a wall mount, but my TV is like a bit too big for like how I wanted it to work. So, um, I have it at like an angle. So it's like, when I sit on my bed, I'm looking at it from probably like a 60 degree angle. Um, and also like, our walls are really thin, so like, if I have my TV at like volume level 10, people can hear it with the door closed and it's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna buy 20 more melons and then just save the rest of my money for me. Put your phone or laptop across them. I do that! I- okay, <laughs> I was bad, I was bad, okay. I've been trying to put like my phone charger across the room. That way like I have to set it down and then I'm done for the night. But like <laughs> by the time I got to like episode four, my battery was at <clears throat> like 10%, so I'm like, oh fuck. I was like, I can stop or I can just unplug my charge and put it by the out by my bed. So I put it on the outlet by my bed because I was like, I have no self-control. Oh, fuck. 
But I'll, I'll get there someday. I'll 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 be mm -hmm. better. Like I think the last time I like sat down and like watched mm -hmm. something. I think it was when mm -hmm. Hamilton came out. So like last year, because I don't watch any shows for that reason. Because like when you're watching TV, if it's good content, you like I like to try and be like fully engaged. Like I try not to do like other shit. Because well, this good game, it's really artsy in terms of the shots and like. The set design is really interesting. Um, VFX are pretty good. Stunts are pretty good as well in terms of like properties. Like I really appreciate like the production aspect of like shows and films. Like I will sit in a theater. I love movie theaters. I love them. I never used to go to them much when I was little, but as of recent. I haven't gone to theater since Sonic came out, mm -hmm. mind you. But like before that, I tried to go to movies anytime I could. It's just the sound quality is like amazing. But even when I was watching the Sonic movie, like I was thinking about like how they made the renderings, how they did the shots. So I was watching an analysis video on it. Talking about like the little blue like streaks behind them and how they change like what type of graphics they use for it when they compare the actual film and the trailer. Because every piece or every shot has to be like meticulously shot or planned. Sorry. Oh, you might hear some wood thumping again. Sorry. Obviously, Dad didn't listen. Sag. You better not unplug the router. <laughs> uh, what else was I gonna say? I think it's funny how a lot of like the American audience too was like shocked by mm -hmm. the whole like premise. Or like I guess the tone of Squid Game. But then it's like that's just a lot of like Korean or like Japanese dramas. Like, the acting style is a lot more, a lot different, very different, <laughs> like, American acting. Mm -hmm. I also think it's funny how, like, there's a Roblox game mode for Squid Game. Like, I've, I've seen a couple of videos on that, and it's funny. So, like, I went to, into the show, like, knowing, like, the basic premise, which I think is kind of nice, versus going in blind. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of, like, process things a lot more. I don't know, if you haven't watched it, watch it. It's pretty good. another Korean film. I think it's called Parasite. I think it came out a year or two ago. Very artsy as well. Lovely shot. I think it won like the movie awards or whatever. I don't watch those so I don't know. But I think it won. Oh my god. I'm like ready to crash. <laughs> I can feel like the lack of sleep kicking in. But it's okay, we're fine. We're doing Stardew Valley, not fucking Odyssey today, so... Nothing too high. Okay, let's get some water. some water and then yell at my dad for like chopping wood right now. I'm kidding. I would never yell at my parents. I'm kidding. Respect your elders, I guess. 
Imagine. Have you ever seen like other kids yell at their parents? Or like talk back to them? And then they not get their ass beat? Like... Ugh, it's insane to me. Insane. Or like... Yeah, this shit is weird, yeah. I mean, I was never disciplined as a child. Like, I got time out. Like, I was never hit. But like... I can never... Like, legit think about like arguing with my parents. Like, we'll have like sit down discussions. But like... Not like an actual fight. Like, I would never. <laughs> I don't want to get their ass beat, but damn, do something. Yeah. It's like. I think at that point, you let that happen once. Like, you let your kid, like, start fights once, then it's, it's gonna keep happening. I don't know. I also, like, get really concerned like I'm sure people have seen like parents like hit their kids like I've seen parents like grab their kid like this by the back of the net like out in public like in the grocery store or whatever and it's just like what do you do in that situation because you could like call them out and be like hey that's not good you're abusing your child <laughs> but then it's like is that really gonna help the kid in that situation? Like, um, trigger, trigger warning, abuse. Uh, we were at a McDonald's, like waiting, waiting in the parking lot for our order, and we were waiting for like fucking twenty minutes because, dummy dumb, my sister didn't know how to order, so it took her like ten minutes to order. But me and my dad are sitting in the car waiting. So in that ten minutes, we see like. 10 people walk in and out of the store with their orders ready, so we're like, what the fuck is going on? Anyway, so like, I see like a father and his two children walk in. They're like, they're, he's like holding both their hands as they walk in. Um, one looks to be about three, the other looks to be about six. And so like, like five minutes later I see them walk out, like, the kid is crying. And I'm like, uh-oh, probably didn't get his happy meal toy, oh no! And then... Like, we had our windows rolled down because, you know, we don't want to die with these stupid cars. So, I see, like, the father yell. He's like, you need to stop fucking crying. I'm like, oh no. And it's to, like, the little three-year-old, right? And he's like, you need to get in the fucking car right now and stop it. I'm like, oh no. And so, like, I, I look over, like, to the side eye, right? And uh, the father said, he's like, you need to stop right now or I slap you in the fucking face. I'm like, Oh dear. Because it's like, that obviously, okay, that is very bad. You should not ever, like, talk to your kid in that manner. Like, I used to work at a daycare, so like, if we saw that, like, with one of our kids that were taking care of, we'd have to report that. You know, because, one, you're threatening the child. You're, like, verbally, like, assaulting them. You're threatening to hit them, right? Which, they probably hit them at home. Right, if you're willing to talk like that in public, where people can see you, where people can record you, you can only imagine what goes on at home, right? So, if you, like, know anyone who experiences that, encourage them to, like, report it. Or, like, at least keep record of what happens, because it's a very long and tedious pro progress to, like, get those issues reported, and, like, if the child is young enough, it's unfortunate when children have to remove from the family, but like if it's at a point where like they're getting physically harmed, then that is maybe the, the course of action that needs to be. So there was one time too. I was at my. Some people should not have children. I know. It's also an issue. I think there should be like a standardized like course you are required to take before you like give birth or like raise a child because. A lot of people don't know that abuse is abuse, right? Because if you grew up in that type of environment, you don't know anything else, right? Including, like, emotional abuse as well. Like, um, I've heard instances where people, like, you know, there's no physical abuse, but there's definitely emotional abuse. Which is not, it's not any better or any worse. It's still not good for the child. But 
Anyway, back to that specific scenario, it's like, what are you supposed to do? Like, you could report it. You could report it to the police, but then it's like, will that really help them? You know? Because when it comes to reporting abuse, there either has to be, like, a physical wound, like a cut or bruise. It has to last more than a day or two, I think, for it to count. Which is bullshit. Um, but it has to be like repeated um, instances of abuse. So like there has to be like bruises over the course of several days, like old and new bruises, because that means it's a repeated behavior versus like maybe an individual got mad one day and then hit them once. It's kind of like bullying, right? If it's a fight, then it's a fight. Cause that's a one-time thing. But if it's bullying, then this is the course of days or months. Um, what it comes down to is if it's someone you know, if you see something, say something. And if, like, people open up to you about it, trying to be as understanding as you can be. Because if people are telling you about those things happening, they trust you enough. I want to tell you about it, right? Because a lot of those things are hard to talk about. True. Uh, sorry, and I know it's a heavier topic. How did we get on this? <laughs> but that's just my experiences. Because there's a lot of things looking back. Like just with friends and stuff in school. Where I was like, I could have said something else to make them feel better. You know? But like at the time, I just didn't know how to respond, I guess. This is why, like, I'll never, I'm not gonna say never, but, like, I do not want to have a child until, like, I get my own shit figured, you know? This is also why, like, I don't want to run a relationship, because, like, I feel like I will, like, easily care for them, like, I will love them, you know? But then it's, like, I just feel like my own issues will just get in the way of stuff. That's another topic for now. <laughs> Lots of grapes. <clears throat> oh, I gotta plant my stuff. I think I'll just plant them now and then water them too. I also think it's interesting how like easy it is to like have a kid like intentionally and accidentally but then there's not a lot of like resources to help you after you have said like there should be affordable or free daycare there should be you should be able to get like grants or something to help provide for said child I know if you are, like, low enough income, you do qualify for, like, food shit. But, like, I think that should be able to everyone. I'm gonna need a watering can for tomorrow. A bass. Got a trout already. Got two carbs. Got a... Go ahead. Got a chub. I haven't got a chub. You have a bank today. 
Yeah, fishing is the best way to make money until you can get the artisan stuff set up. So, like, what happens, theoretically, if there is, like, a class required to, like, have a kid, right? What if you don't pass? <laughs> That's gotta be sad, man. Like, imagine what that would be like. But then when- Oh, there's- Oh, the crows fucked me up. Oh, no. Oh no. But then it's like, it also becomes an argument what makes a good parent, too. I think it should just educate on. Ah, it's so difficult. It's like, what would they even teach? It's kind of like how they had like life skills classes in school. I guess something like that, maybe. Out of water. No, we should go for fishing that way I can upgrade. Oh, but I don't have enough iron bars, so I gotta go mining anyway. <clears throat> you don't have... I only have one iron bar. To the mines we go. Lung cancer, here we come. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Man, there's like no minerals today. Bruh! Came all the way here. For nothing. For, it's probably just an unlucky day.
Oh, way down appeared. Okay. I was like, where'd it go? Oh my god, so many. <laughs> I just keep getting hit every time. <laughs> I just need to get good. Crazy to think that smoking was allowed indoors at some point. I was thinking about that the other day. Like sometimes I get like annoyed when I see people smoking just like, like out on the street. Just in my head, I'm like, you're killing yourself. Cute boots. Got the Uggs. I can't stand six. Yeah, they're achy. I think it's also because, like, I didn't grow up with anyone smoking in that. Thankfully. Because, like, my mom was basically like, We're gonna have a kid, you have to quit. And he's like, Okay. <laughs> he's like, I'll do it for you. head out. I don't think we have enough time to get through the other two levels. That's fine. I just needed iron. That's the, that was the only goal. I just need enough for five bars.
busy. So tomorrow we can probably do... Mm, probably more fishing. I think we have enough. Yeah, so let's go ahead and make two of our furnaces. Oh, I needed stone now wood. Haha. <laughs> Get the read. Get those started. Yeah, we don't have enough money to upgrade that. forget that I can sell my old swords and stuff. We just need the watering can for tomorrow. That. So we are about two hours into today's stream. So gentle matter, get some water, get a snack if you need it. And someone else just came home. <laughs> uh, if you're new here, drop a follow helps me out if you're a returning viewer. Appreciate ya. I might go for like maybe an hour or more, because I'm honestly feeling like the drowsy's coming in. Okay, back to it. Oh, actually, it's a rainy day, so we should probably go fishing instead. I think I said I was going to go fishing today anyway. I cannot remember. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's raining. I don't need to. <laughs> don't need the water. Cool. We love that. Let's just focus on fishing for today. Now we went fishing in the lake. Nope, in the river. In the sea, so we can probably go lake fishing today. I know you're supposed to talk to like the NPCs, but I usually don't hear one. I know it helped me like get hearts faster, but it's so much faster to give them gifts and then they like you. I mean, I guess that's how like IRL friends are. You know, like you buy them food and they love you forever, right? Dropped it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm 
I'm also trying to figure out how to make stencils with my mom's cricket. So that's what I was working on last night. Because you can make like pretty detailed like cutouts. I'm trying to figure out the software. I also need to figure out if I have like the right mats. Like the right uh, like adhesive mats. I was gonna work on that more today, but I'm kinda like I wanna go to sleep. <laughs> Because right now I'm trying to, I'm sketching out like concepts for like patterns I can make. So I want to try and make like a couple floral ones because fair use, you can trace photographs, you just can't trace illustrations. But kiddos, don't be tracing drawings saying it's yours, that's bad. But you can trace pictures. Like if you're trying to make like a vector art or something, like that's fine. Because technically that's transformative. Um, but like, if I'm gonna do like floral stencils, I can probably trace pictures. And if I'm trying to do like geometric ones, I can probably just make a render by drawing it. And that's what I'm working on right now. Because I'm, I'm looking annoyed because like, I'm trying to get cookie cutters ordered. But like, there's not a lot of places that will do what I want for like the price point I want, I guess. But we're, we're working on it, we're working on it. Mm -hmm. By we, it's me. But, you know. I'm a one-man show here. I'm trying to convince my sister to, like, properly learn how to edit. But she's always like, you know, I want to learn how to edit. I want to do it. But then I'm like, hey, you can use my laptop. You can... Because I have access to, like, LinkedIn Learning from my school. I'm like, you know, you can use my laptop. I don't care. You can watch the course. You can use, like, I have Adobe Premiere for class. Like, you can use it. And she's like, um, I don't want to. She's like, I, I kind of don't want it right now. It's like, all this shit is free for me right now, man. It's like, use it while I have it, you know. Because, like, if I, Megan ever is successful, I can use nepotism and hire her and pay her nothing. You know, family. <laughs> and drop them a little bit, right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'd give her a livable wage. So, like, the livable wage of, like, some Midwestern states. So, like, seven bucks an hour. <laughs> okay, Bezos. Now he... No, the minimum wage for, like, Amazon employees is $15, right? I mean, it's not much for, like, Washington, because, like, I think Washington's minimum wage is, like, 13 60 something But, like, the people who are making, like, we're minimum is 7 bucks, they're like, ooh, I'm making double minimum, you know? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna make her piss in bottles or anything. Or, like, shit in bags, I'm not gonna do that. Isn't it, like, I like the idea of family business, like, it's cute, you know? But then it's like, what if your kid doesn't want to do that? Like, I don't want to be busting tables, Dad. Like, I tried to learn how to edit, but it's like, it's not fun. Like, it's not for me. Because, um, I know some 3D modeling, but it's really tedious work. Like, it's really not for me. Like, I'm more of the composer. Like, I think of ideas, but, like, I have someone else do it for me. You know what I mean? Uh oh. Oh! Bro, I need to take a nap. <laughs> okay. Back to it. Because I think the only way to, like, make money nowadays is to work for yourself, like, honestly. Because if you just think of, like, a normal business model, 
like your like inventory and supplies and cost of goods should be like probably no more than 30 labor no more than 40 utilities rent it's probably like maybe five ten percent so your take home is usually 20 to 40 on a good day right so it's like all the companies saying look I can't afford to pay my workers an extra two dollars an hour is bullshit like a lot of places are working at like 50 to 75 percent staff levels so it's like they have less people doing the same amount of work and it's insane like that's how it was at my food service job it was horrible like i was working like 60 80 hour weeks sometimes and it was horrible um but like if it's gonna cost you like even five percent more in labor like that's nothing if you're gonna have people have a uh, longer turnover rate and people sticking around. Because what's the point of training someone for like two weeks to a month and then they quit after two or three months? Like, that's just your money wasted. Because now that the market is competitive, like, you see Jack in the Box offering 15 bucks here in Washington. And it's like, whoa! Like, I can flip burgers and be rude to customers and get paid more? I mean, not to like diss fast food workers, but like... They deal with a lot of shit every day, like I dealt with a lot of shit too. I was working there. Um, I don't understand how people can just be like rude. I never got it. I can get it if like you're agitated, but like you don't have to be like rude rude. Like, you can be, like, a bit more curt, I guess, but you don't have to, like, be dumb or rude. Because, basically, people will feed off whatever vibe you're giving, right? Like, if you're nice to me, I'll, I'll be nice to you. Like, if you're gonna be rude to me, like, I'll be a bit more curt with you. I also think it's funny, like, mm -hmm. if I get a more, like, rude service worker, I'm just extra nice to them. To rub it in. <laughs> Like, I know that's, like, borderline sociopathic, but, like, I think it's funny. And also, like, um, if I complain, which I don't ever do, like, I'm not a fucking Karen, but, like, if I file a complaint, and it's, like, they have nothing against me, like, if I'm super nice and, like, they were being rude, then it's, like, not my fault. Because a lot of people who make complaints are like people who are just in a bad mood and like they just want to project, right? Because a lot of times with the complaints when I was working, like our manager or like our owner would side with us. Because like they understand that people are like being dramatic in like the surveys or whatever. Like the only time I've really filled out like a review or a survey for the food service is if they didn't wash their hands. It's like, that pisses me off. Like, it legit. It's like, I understand you cook at home, but, like, that's your germs. When you're at work, there's five people working the line. Like, that's five people germs. And you're serving tens or hundreds of people every day. Like, that's just asking for people to get sick, right? Like, I saw one person, like, scratch their ass, like, in their pants, and then go up and touch food. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, some people. Like, if you ever get food and you see them not wear gloves and just put gloves on, ask them to wash their hands. If they give you shit, just walk out. Because, like, if they can't simply wash their hands, like, they obviously don't care. If they can't do that in, like, the front lobby or, like, where they can see the kitchen, they obviously aren't doing it when they're doing like prep in the back room. Like, I don't get it. I see this happen a lot at like Subways. Like, if, anytime I go to a Subway and they don't wash their hands, I will tell them to wash their hands. Like, I don't give a shit. And, like, every time I see them not wash their hands, I fail the service. Like, I don't care. I will give you one star. Because, like, whenever they get low stars, scores, like, the owner sees it, their auditors see it. I work there, so, like, I know how it works. Like, they will see that. 
Because like, I don't care if you get in trouble. Like, you're getting some people sick. Anyway, that's my take. <laughs> Hey, hi, Pokai. Hope you're doing well. I know this game ain't really your vibe, but <laughs> I don't know if you play. Do you play like any RPG type stuff? Game's really chill usually. I wish there was a way we could play like DMC music. I know, because like Twitch Studio released a function where you can ex exclude a music source from the VOD. Like, you technically could be like playing Drake's new album if you really wanted to. But then you can get like DMC'd live, and that's worse. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's not too much a concern if you're like a smaller streamer, because like it's not like you're monetized anyway. But like, I don't know. Doing well, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> I got maybe like two, three hours last night because I was <laughs> I was watching Squid Game finally. But otherwise, I'm doing that. I'm doing night. I don't really play games like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. That's fine. I have Animal Crossing, but I don't play it. Kind of hard for me to get into relaxing type games. I get it. I think I really like like a good in between between like more chill. In like high engagement type stuff, mainly because like my attention span is horrible. I think I really like repetitive mm -hmm. tasks or actions or like commands. Like this game, you just press like A and B, and then you're good. Or no, it's just B and Y, and then you're set. Like nothing too complex. I think it's because like people have different things they want from games. Like some people use it to like get some energy out. You know, like the FPS players, or like the speedrunners, and then there's some people who like do it to chill, or to like wind down from a day, you know? Like everyone has their own like, um, I guess things that they want. Like, when I did play Animal Crossing, I would play it- this, that was another game I'd play all day. <laughs> like, I played Animal Crossing up until- Oh, frick! I did not mean to do that! Ah! I gotta waste a freaking gall of flour. Yeah, everyone relaxes differently, for sure. Sure. I think it's also cool how like it's kind of like a free market for games yes there are like big titles but like most anyone quote unquote with skill or like a small team can release something and people will most likely play it which i think is really cool like with games kind of like movies and films like there's always something for everyone Whenever the train goes by, like, everything in the house shakes, and I get so scared that my TV's gonna fall off the dresser, which I know it won't, like, I know it won't. Like, the only time that something has fallen down is when I was little, I had, like, a little wall shelf, and I put, like, gems on it. Like, I was borderline a crystal mommy when I was, like, 15. Anyway. And there was only one time where, like, one fell off the little stand and onto my bed. But, like, otherwise, everything stays put. But still seeing everything shake. I'm like, is it an earthquake? Has anyone actually lived through an earthquake? Yana, maybe. Because you're in California. Or you are too, Pukka. Have either of you guys, like, been through an earthquake? Because I know, like, there's, like, small ones that are fairly common down there. Yes? What was it like? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> if it's not traumatic enough, tell me. <laughs> A bowl of you? Sheesh. Story time? Question mark? Because, like, we practice earthquake drills here, or in school, relatively often, because we have Mount Rainier fairly close to us, so, like, if she blows, we're all dead, basically. Um. <laughs> There's scary time, but whatever. An earthquake happens now, I kind of just don't care. <laughs> I 
it's not really a big deal. I used to be scared, but not anymore. What can you do? It's just going to shake until it stops. Now you guys are just both, like, apathetic about it. Okay. That's funny. It's just, like, I've never lived through one. Or, no. I've never been through one, not lived through one. Like, I'm kind of scared. But, you know. If it happens, it happens. Just got to make sure I don't get crushed by anything. Yeah, but, like, I'm low-key scared if, like, Rainier ever does finally blow up. Because, like, she was due, like, I think a hundred years ago, at least. But, um... Because I'm in a valley. So, like, if she blows, like, it's gonna wipe out our whole neighborhood, basically. I mean, we're far enough to where you have, like, a good two hours to, like, get out. But it's still, like, scary to think of, like, just everything being gone. And when you live in California, long enough, you just get desensitized by stuff like fires and everything. I know, like, I would, I, when I wanted, when I graduated from high school, like, my dream was, like, to move to California. Like, that, I think that's, like, everyone's dream, though. But then, like, once you hear about, like, the fires and earthquakes, I'm just, like, I'm good for now. Or, like, like, East Coast, Southern East Coast, how there's, like, uh, tornadoes and shit, no, hurricanes and shit, I'm just, like, why would you want to live there? Like, I would- oh, no, no. Like, I wouldn't voluntarily move there, basically. If anything, the fires are more concerning. Yeah, smoke is scary. Like, I already got asthma. Like, I don't want to fuck myself up more. Gotta go now. Gotta help my brother with class. Sorry, I can't see. Have a oh, not a problem. <laughs> help your brother. <laughs> I don't want to be to blame for you not helping him study. Yeah, true. Thank you for coming in today, though. I appreciate it. It's always nice seeing people come back, you know? Um, yeah, that's why, I like, I like Washington. Like, it's pretty good. I've considered, like, Oregon. But, like, Oregon is really <coughs> Republican. So, I, I don't think I'd feel as safe there. Like, Washington is, like, the safest place for, like, minorities and, like, LGBT people, which is cool. The only time we were kind of scared is when, like, a lot of Asian people were getting hate crimes last year. But, you know, it's a lot better now. Ooh, we made bank! Maybe we can upgrade our pickaxe today. Oh, we got six grand. Nice. We can probably upgrade. Hello. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. For both of us. That's kind of sus. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Okay. I know, like, every guide will tell you to do mushrooms because they have a higher, like, profit margin. But I usually go with bats because they drop fruit and you can pickle the fruit. Or make... Uh, jam with the fruit. So I will always go for bats. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thank you for letting me do this, for sure. You know, win-win. I get to leech off of you. Today we can probably go upgrade our pickaxe, and then until the pickaxe is ready, focus on fishing, getting some more money, and then after that, upgrade our axe. Oh, well, like, we don't really need to upgrade the axe because 
I mean about this in uh, Katie's stream the other day. But basically upgrading your um, hoe and your water can is just capital and performative because it literally doesn't do much to benefit you. Like it just costs you less energy and then once you get sprinklers you don't really need a fucking watering can. But upgrading it to gold is just performative. You only do that if you're richy rich and you want to show off and that's trashy. We're not gonna do that. Or, okay, I guess it does hold more water and it costs less energy, but you know, that's not important to me. Because I don't want to look performative. <laughs> I want to get new glasses. I've had these frames for about a year now. So, okay. What irked me the most was because, like, when I was working, I had to wear the mask every day, which I don't care. It's nice. Like, I like wearing the mask. But, like, I wear the kind, like, medical kind, so, like, it goes around your ear. And because of that, it widened out, like, my frames. Like, anytime, like, I don't wear a mask, like, they kind of slide down more and it's not. Like, I kind of want to get new frames, but like, I don't need it. I don't need it. And like, I don't have money anyway. And like, I love these, the style of frame that I got so much that like, I know if I got a new pair, I would just get the same one. Like, I or like a similar style, because these are Ravens. Like, there was some other ones that were very similar to this pile that were like a hundred dollars cheaper, but they weren't as nice, I guess. Like, I could get one of those. I don't know. When my, when my streaming career pops off, then like, I'll get the glass. When I open donuts, just give me like <laughs> money so I can get the glass. Not because I need them. <laughs> I want them just to be performative with capitalist. <laughs> that was such a good fit. I, I need to work on that bit more. Um, come in, make yourself at home. Have seen time. Alright, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just make sure to wash your hands good after dipping them in, in, the, in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks. So you've been catching a lot of fish? You trying to hit on me? A bit old for my taste. Lady after my own heart. You can always count on a lady who fishes. Ugh. <laughs> Farmer Megan hates men. <laughs> That's what my old cop used to say at least. Well keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I got a special prize waiting for you. I have a joke. Ooh. I don't know what to say. It's just like... What's wrong is kind of like confrontative. Everything okay is kind of like more like empathetic. Let's go with that. Well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that our community center fell to ruin. We fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. That's what it's like as an independent business owner, sir. 
People not get it? <laughs> no time for me own projects. But I think picked if things picked up here around if things picked up if things pick back up fuck me around here, I might have the time to show you something. He's back there, an old friend that's seen better days. Someday, you'll see what I mean. I don't like saying Mr. Sir, that's why I'm skipping over it. I just don't like the sound of it. In terms of it, it's either like, kind of like too formal, or like too... Mm, I can't think of a good word. It's like, when I refer to people, I always go like... I, I'm really casual, so I'm like, hey, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Mainly because, like, you shouldn't really assume. And I think when you, like, talk to strangers, unless it's part of your job, right, to refer to them as sir or ma'am, like, it's kind of like putting up a barrier, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna go biking today. I'm honestly really tired. I'm gonna skip today. I'll just bike an extra day this week. Cause I, I can feel my, my arms getting heavy. I'm just not looking forward to winter. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate when there's like snow and frost and ice. Like, I feel fine on the sidewalk. I'm just scared of the people on the road. It's like... I mean, it would take a lot for someone to slide onto the sidewalk. You know, they have to be going pretty fast. But like, still, I'm like, uh, scary. Like, it's probably safer to be in a car at that point. So you got, like, some armor, I guess. Like on days when like I had to go to work and it would snow, like I'd walk. It was like I tried going on my bike one day, and that specific day, like the ice was like just about gone. The only place that had ice was like where like the water would pull by the drain. So like I I forgot to like check when I went on like the dip of the sidewalk, and there was still like a big patch of ice by it, and I slid and I slid into the road. Thankfully, the car stopped. You know, Megan lived. But after that, I was like, no shot. I'm like, we're walking home. And <laughs> after that day, I told my dad, and he's like, I'll drive to work every day. I'm like, thank you, Dad. <laughs> I think anywhere that you live, there's always going to be some, I guess, negative aspect. Like, I don't think there's any, like, paradise. I think mm -hmm. the place that I liked living the most was Hawaii, though. Like, we stayed there for a couple months before 4th grade. Like, it was weird, because, like, we stayed there during, like, early fall. But, like, any time it rained, it was, like, a warm rain. I remember one time we were walking to school, because it was, like, a block away. So, we walked to school, and it was pouring. And like we got to school and I went to the nurse's office. Like, can I call my mom? Like, I'm drenched, like I need new clothes. Mm -hmm. So I called my mom. She bought clothes for my sister and I. She got there like maybe half an hour later. And 
at that point, like, it stopped raining. And the way the school was set up, it's like an open building. So, um, like, the hallways, quote unquote, were like open. Weird. Like, by the time we got to our classroom, like, we were basically all dry. <laughs> so, it's weird. Like, I don't think I'd mind living in Hawaii. I think it's because, like, we got family there, so, like, it would be a bit better. I just see we want something good. This morning I made a grilled cheese for breakfast and it was amazing. I like I used some refrigerated hamburger buns because they were gonna go bad. So like they went on the pan cold and like I grilled them inside facing on the pan. And when they came out they were like really crispy. They were almost like a cracker. It was so good. So good. Megan <laughs> I just make myself grilled cheese every day. <laughs> I mean, grilled cheese is pretty good though. I mean, it's a cheap lunch. Gotta get a loaf of bread and cheese in your set for like a week. No! Press the wrong button. I think I'll do one more in game and then end for today. Mm -hmm. So, probably another like 20 30 minutes. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a nap. I was talking to my mom. She worked with elementary kids, yeah. And she was basically complaining a while ago. She was like, you know, some kids come in and like, they're totally off for the day. And she's like, you know, it's usually kids who show up late. And it's like, okay. I was just like, yeah, that's weird, huh? But in my head, I'm like, yeah, it's because like, when the kid is late, the parent is late. So like, the parent is freaking out too. So like, the parent is probably like, Rush to make breakfast, probably like yelling at them to get dressed faster, you know? 
until like two weeks ago. Um, I think I talked about this before. I, I think I did. But so basically, they woke up like an hour and a half late, so they only had like half an hour to get ready to like take a bath, make breakfast, and go to work. And she came home from work that day. She was basically like, you know, I understand it now. Like, yeah, no shit. Like, especially for like neurodivergent people. Like, when you break that schedule, like, it messes them up. Because, like, some people need structure. And when you break that structure, that just makes you anxious. Like, it triggers you. Like, I've never been diagnosed. But, like, I know. I know I have. Like, definitely some social issues. Like, for sure. Like, for sure. I mean, like, it's not to the point where it's, like, debilitating. It's just, like, a lot of social cues, like, some people pick up immediately and some people, like, have to learn how to react or respond. Like, definitely working customer service helped me a lot to learn how to, like, communicate more effectively. I'm very much the type to like change how I speak or like not manipulate but like <laughs> know what to say. Sell the rest. See if I can craft another scarecrow. So, wood, coal, fiber, wood, coal, fiber. at least two. Those crows, usually the crows don't bother me, but the ones from this morning because, like, those crops are, like, fully spawned. And it's just like, come on. Like, I'm walking. I also don't know how much, like, the crows really protect, because it says it protects, like, the eight surrounding tiles, so does that mean only the ones, like, adjacent to it or is it like it across like i don't know rather i couldn't figure it out and i didn't want to look up a walk through <laughs> oh It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Tribune. Congratulations! We're impressed with your quick progress. My farm is shit right now. Oh, tomorrow we're gathering at the beach for the annual Pelican Town Lua. The highlight of the event is a communal, communal potluck. Make sure you bring yourself good thing, something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Yeah, so no drinking, guys. Best behavior. I don't know why I'm going this way. Bad. I don't want to do more pond fishing. No, we did pond fishing first. Let's do more river.
know there's one rare fish that spawns in this spot. That was actually the ra only rare fish that I caught in my other save. But I don't know what season it spawns in.
kind of wish I did a trade school. Like, if I learned how to, like, actually cook, I think that'd be fun. Then I can make, like, fancy shit. Another train. I missed it. Sad. Mm-hmm. 
I used to think how fast time goes by. Like, it's weird not working. Because, like, a lot of your days seem to mesh together. That's why, like, I always have to be doing something. Like, honestly, like streaming at the same time every day. Cause like, then it's kind of like, structure to a job. Like, I like that aspect of it. I just need to get more consistent on like, my homework schedule and then, like my personal project schedule. I'm trying to do like, an hour of homework every day. And then, two hours of like, the art project every day. I like guess tricky to like figure out not what a flake. Cause I flake a lot. In terms of like not investing as much time into homework or as much time into like the art stuff as I want to. It's beefy seal. Water today? I don't remember if I watered it. Oh, I didn't. Oops. Good thing we checked that. That would have been sad.
none of these give a lot of energy. Mm. They're all kind of crap. So we're up 3400. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here for today. Save real quick. Can't forget to do that. I don't like the save function. It's weird how they place it. knocked over our jar. Um, thank you to anyone who came in today. We had Yana show up. We had guys show up. Nice relaxing stream. For sure, for sure. I like the Stardew ones because, like, they're usually pretty chill. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Now sleep, Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna take a bath and, like, knock out. I'm not... It's not like how it was like two weeks ago where I'm sick, like I'm just like tired. Like I don't feel sick and I'm just tired. It's because I didn't sleep much. Oh, fucking addiction. Anyway. I hope you all have a great day. I'll be back again tomorrow. Um, same time, 11, 11 a.m. PST with some Mario Kart. Hopefully we'll get some W's, you know. But yeah. You guys have a great day.